philosophy is in trouble. No one studies it anymore. Kids don't give a damn about it. That's why we went to visit a very special man and gave him a very big challenge. Philosoph philosophical jam. Philosophical jam, take one. Um, Jamie, I've got a really... Jamie, I've got a really cheeky thing to ask you. Okay. Um, what do you know about philosophy? I don't know. Are you I interested in it? Does it yeah, seem interesting? Yeah, no, I think I'm really philosophical. I think you are. But I was quite uneducated at school, if I'm really honest, yeah. and we were never taught it. And um, possibly what I think philosophy is, it isn't. So okay, maybe look, you can help me. <laughs> I'd love to help you. But look, here's a challenge. The thing about philosophy is it's dying on its feet. No one's right. studying at university. The subject's dying. Actually, it contains so much goodness, so many lessons that we need to know. Hopefully, your life's going to be another 40 years, 50 years. Hope so. Something like that. Hopefully, my life will be a bit longer too. A bit I would. Longer, you see that? I would. <laughs> not longer than yours. But long. But I would like that at some point in your life, you do to philosophy what you've done with food. In other words, that you take people who see this thing that's so scary, and you unpack it for them and you prepare it for them, and you teach them that it's something that they could engage with. If you made a program on philosophy, anywhere, social media, airwaves, etc., it would literally change culture. You would change the history of culture, because this is a subject that is full of richness and goodness, but it's like, a, it's like an artichoke. We were cooking an artichoke, and there's a lovely heart in it, but it needs unpicking, so and you are the man to do it. When I'm talking to my 12-year-olds like, and 11-year-olds yep. yep. about... What are the principles, the basic principles of okay. philosophy? The basic, it starts with the idea that our brains are slightly misfiring, faulty walnuts. There's things that are wrong with our brains, right? Our brain is a faulty walnut. I know and that's that, a fact with mine, because yeah, my brain exactly. is now, super weird. The task of culture, and philosophy in particular, is to give that faulty walnut things that will keep it balanced, steady, and honest. calm, honest, all the things that we want. But we can't do that on our own. And modern culture leaves us so alone. It basically just tells you, you know, go do your you know, school, degree, etc., and then off you go. Uh, there used to be religion that would sit you down once a week and go, oh, you know, you be nice, etc. That's gone away. We're alone now. We're alone with the movies, uh, you know, with, with the telly, with, you know, what's on the news, etc. But we're basically alone. And there's lots of entertainment, but there's right. not much wisdom in our culture. So in a funny sort of way, it's um, a sort of anemia that we have. Like we, it's something we're not quite getting. We've forgotten and the goodness that's there in our culture. It's, it's what you're doing with food, right? You've had to wrestle with people's fear. First of all, I'm a man, I don't cook. Or I'm a working class English man, I don't cook, etc. You've battled a lot of prejudices and yeah, got people in time. the kitchen. Big time. Right? When it comes to culture, things like philosophy are held back by exactly the same problems. People think, oh, you know, I've not been educated, I can't get involved in all that thing. And I, that drives me as mad as it drives you crazy when people say, I can't, you know, I don't know what to do with an olive, right? You go mad. You say, no, of course you can. And I'm fascinated by that challenge. Um, but I don't have what you have, which is charm. You are a deeply charming <laughs> man. You're, people that. relate to you, right? And so that's why it would be lovely. I, I know you've done this a bit with uh, you know, your school program, etc. If you move more towards not just the physical health, which you've dealt with so brilliantly, but also mental, emotional yeah. well-being. This is a huge really topic. Powerful. It's and really you powerful. are literally the man on this planet that's currently spinning around in the void. You are the man who can best do this. Mm. And I would love you to get interested in that challenge, and I'd love to give you the tools to take up that challenge, because I think you would change how people think. And you know, we live in a culture that's so divided between high culture and low culture. The high guys don't talk to the low guys. The low guys don't talk to the high guys. You're uniting them and you know, bringing in, properly democratizing. The problem is that Jamie has existing commitments. His team are fully focused on producing programs about food. We have to persuade Jamie, and most of all his people, that he should do a series on philosophy. It could be a piece of landmark TV. If you agree, press the like button on this video and pass it on to friends. And we'll petition the powers that be and try to make it happen. With your help, Jamie Cook's philosophy starts now.